Hi, it's Christina with the Sisyphean Journal. We're in part two of the trigonometry um, interview with Dr. Ann Ferretti, who is a very passionate abortion rights supporter. Um, and this next section is entitled, Abortion is a Personal Decision, Not a Feminist Issue. So this is short. So let's see what she has to say and what Constantine and Francis have to say. Uh, people think the abortion is it's some kind of an identity issue it's like a feminist issue um that is about how women define who they are i wonder if she watches uh twitter at all or is familiar with the shout your abortion movement um you know, there are women who for them abortion is something they're proud to have done and i don't think that that's right at all i think that you know now i don't think that's the normal woman climbing on the abortion table but i think she's ignoring the existence of women for whom abortion is a defining act proving it's as though aborting proves to the world they the woman's internal value i think most women climbing on the abortion table aren't that way they're just like holy shit i'm in this situation i want to get out of it but yeah, there are women for whom they're, they're doing this to prove who they are. Nobody wants to identify as a woman who has had an abortion. Again, she clearly has never seen the Shout Your Abortion movement or is ignoring it. Um, you don't support a woman's right. You don't, you don't exercise your right to abortion let's put it like this you don't exercise that right like you exercise your right to vote you know oh i'm a woman abortion's legal i think i'll have one of those <laughs> that's not you know that is never the way it works on an individual level abortion is the solution to a particular problem you have um i'm gonna guess she's gonna do, if you're pregnant and your circumstances are bad abortion's the solution sex you got pregnant, you really do not want to have a baby. Okay, first of all, there's the really don't want to have a baby. Um, I don't think that's the case. A lot of women walking into abortion clinics are very uncertain and they get sold the abortion. Um, there's also, you had sex, you got pregnant. You knew when you chose to have sex that you might create a human being and then you kill that human being for being there when you put them in that situation um you know what would you think if um some business owned a parking garage and they decided that they were going to demolish the parking garage but um in the meantime they let a homeless encampment settle into this parking garage um i don't think you'd say that they have the right to demolish that parking garage without first making sure that all the homeless people are out of the parking garage and you might even say that they have a duty to announce in advance this parking garage is going to be demolished you don't want to be in it to go through that parking garage because they know there's a homeless encampment inside this parking garage they know there's a high risk that there's going to be homeless people in that parking garage on demolition day i think most of us would argue that they have a duty to make sure that every single one of those homeless people is out of the parking garage before they demolish it you wouldn't say that because they own the parking garage, they have the right to demolish it even when they were allowing this homeless encampment in their parking garage. You're the one who let those people be there. You're responsible for making sure that they get out. You put the baby there and then you blame the baby. You know, it's... it's... But, you know, it, it's got such a kind of political ramifications, moral ramifications for the people that the whole thing becomes, you know, a real mess. And my sense is, you know, can we please leave people to make these deeply intimate decisions for themselves? Again, just because it's a deeply intimate decision doesn't mean that all choices you make are equally valid. You know, the, the decision to molest children is certainly a deeply personal decision but it seems like a growing number of people are feeling that that you should be allowed to make that intimate decision but normal people don't you know the decision to violate your your dog um, is a deeply personal decision but i think a lot of people would have a beef with that 
Um, just because a decision is deeply intimate and deeply personal does not mean it is also morally valid and acceptable and that society should tolerate it. And let them say the responsibility for it because ultimately it's, it's her body and we live in a society that generally now recognizes that people should do that. Okay, so the next section is kind of long, so I'm going to end this here.